Hi, in this video I'll be trying to explain how to use the layout creation editing suite uh, in Automaton. First of all, I'm in my layout settings screen and I'll create a new layout. Let's give a name to our layout Home Alternative with Nivo. As you know, in our home page, we have our logo menu and an anything slideshow. And then we have our content. We have some column content, a content slider, and our footer. So we will just resemble the same layout, but we will have a different slideshow here. and we can actually omit this or insert another slider there also. So I'm coming back to my layout settings screen and select my layout type as full and click save. Now we are in our layout creation editing screen. As we have selected a full layout, we have our partial layouts listed here. We can just insert them above layout body or below layout body. I'm just selecting my logo and menu which is my main top mega partial layout to be shown above layout body and I'm selecting general footer below layout body. And then let's save our layout. and see what it has. I'm just going to pages add new. So I will have a test page to have my layout tested. I'm giving it as a test title and pasting some learning soon in my content and selecting my home alternative middle slider as my layout from the ultimate layout selection click publish and now when I go to view page I will have my logo I have an empty layout body here and my footer here Okay, nice. Let's fill in our layout with some elements. First of all, I'm clicking to insert row button. And then I'll see 28 different row types listed, listed in front of me. I'll just insert a full row. And in that full row, I'll insert a slideshow. I'm just dropping my slideshow here and selecting slideshow content etc. We will go in detail about slideshow widget in its own video. I'm clicking save video again. I'm coming to my test title page and refresh it. Okay, nice. We have our slideshow inserted. I'm again going to my layout settings screen and insert a row. This time I'm inserting a four column row. And in that four column row, I'll be inserting some single page contents here. I'm selecting my single page contents from my home page. I'm just saving everything. Let's drop all the elements and then do the settings. I recommend using a widescreen monitor for this part because as you can see in a generic 
laptop screen I don't have any spaces so it's easy still but it will be much more clean to have a white screen monitor now I'm selecting my other texts it has to be okay this one default title save and we have on which word press default title save and save okay that's nice we have everything inserted I'm clicking save layout again and coming to my layout to see the results okay we have our four columns here we forgot to insert the image for this one it's not a big issue I'm just selecting before title and save now let's insert our content I'm inserting a half and half column click insert nice we have our row inserted I'm selecting WordPress content and I don't want any image I don't want any meta and save it let's close this one and on the left hand side I'll just show a video type in title layout. layout settings screen given my video UI click save okay and I'm saving my layout let's test it our top part came our slideshow came and our text came okay but the ordering is wrong so coming back to layout settings screen dragging and dropping it saving the layout refreshing my page okay everything seems in place but we had some background color etc for our slideshow so I'm coming to layout settings click on wrapper CSS please check the documentation about what is wrapper container and columns I'm selecting my background color I can also use the color selection tool but I just know the color and at the top I will want my border color and border size one pixel border style solid and for a change let's have a black border at bottom which is one pixel but that's it all those titles are collapsible I'm just clicking to collapse them and save and click save layout now ultimatum CSS engine has been provoked it will create my CSS I'm coming back to my layout refreshing it and as you can see I have my background color here etc I can also set the margins for this layout and give any colors I want uh, I'll be explaining all the CSS editing in another video so thank you for your time for watching this video I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you really like the real drag and drop features of Ultimate thank you again have a nice day